Hey guys, in this video we are doing an equilibrium question, and the question says you've got a boulder and it's being suspended by two cables. The first cable, you know, has um, a force of 800 newtons, and it's at a 70 degree angle from the point where it's fastened. The second rope or cable, you don't know how much force it's exerting, but you do know that it's got a 30 degree angle from the point where it's fastened. The information we're trying to find is what's the maximum weight we can hang from these two cables before they snap. So that's not a lot of information, but we do have some other sort of like basic knowledge. The sum of the forces in the x direction equals zero and the sum of the forces in the y direction equals zero. So that's actually all you need to solve. The knowledge of these two and all the information in the question. So we are actually going to solve... First, we're going to use this. The sum of the forces in the x direction equals zero. So what that means is this vector is made up of two components. It's made up of one pulling this way and one pulling up. This one we're going to say is T1 in the x direction. This vector over here is also made up of an x and a y component. So its x component, we're going to call T2x, pulls in the opposite direction, and its y component also pulls up. So because this object is in, a, in equilibrium, we know it's not moving left or right, which means that these two forces are going to be exactly the same number. So once we figure out this one over here, we can figure out this one too. It'll be the same. We'll just put a negative sign in front of it to indicate that it's going the opposite direction. So all we need to solve for T1x is the 70 degrees we have, and we have the length of one of the sides, and we can just use some basic trigonometry from there. So we have, it looks like, the opposite side and the hypotenuse. That's where our 90 degree angle will be. So if you're using opposite and hypotenuse, you're going to want to use sine. So sine of 70 degrees is opposite was T1x over hypotenuse was 800. So let me type in sine of 70 on my calculator. I get that's equal to about 0 0.94 multiplied by 800, and I get 751, or actually that would round up to 752 newtons is equal to T1x. So this is 752, which means this is negative 752. So I'm just going to make some space here. The reason that we solved that is because that gave us information about this side. And we are looking for information in the y direction, right? We want to know how much force is pulling up so that we know how much weight is pulling this weight down. So now that we've got a side and an angle over here, we can solve for this side. So I'll call that T2Y. So we'll use opposite and adjacent, I think. So we'll say that opposite and adjacent is what? Tan? Tan of 30 degrees is opposite, negative 752 over adjacent which is T2y. Tan of 30 is equal to 0 0.577. So negative 752 divided by tan of 30 would be about negative 1303 is what I get. So I think I'm, I don't like that being negative given that it's in my mind, it's going up, so it should be positive. So I'm just going to define this direction as being positive. So I know that I said earlier the sum of the forces in the y direction equals zero. The sum of the forces in the y direction is going to be the 1,303 that I know um, my second rope will carry. Plus, let's go back to the first triangle and figure out how much force, the vertical component of this rope will carry. So instead of tan 30, we'll do tan of 70. So tan is opposite over adjacent. 
So instead of negative 752, it's positive 752. And instead of t2y, it'll be t1y. So 752 divided by tan of 70, I get 273. Okay. Then all I need to do is add those together. Plus 13 of 3. And I get 1,576. And we need to think about one more force in the y direction. These two forces are going up. The force that's going down is going to be mg. So if I rearrange my equation a little bit and add mg to both sides, the sum of the forces in the y direction equals zero because it's at equilibrium, it's not moving. So if I add mg to both sides, I get mg equals 1,576. Well, I know that the force of gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared, so I'm going to write that in for g, 9.8, and then I'm going to divide by 9.8 on both sides so that that'll go away. And I'll get mass equals 2, 1,576 divided by 9.8 is equal to about 161 kilograms. And that's all you have to do.